Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude back with another unboxing video, because why not? Um, this is the JVC RS2100. This is their first variant into the Laser 4K and the brand new 2022 uh, platform. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, let you guys know all about it. We're gonna do it right after the intro. All right, let's get this thing unboxed real quick. So like I was talking about, this is the brand new 2022 JVC um, projector. This is their DILA, which is their reflective devices in there. So three reflective devices um, and it has a 65 millimeter all glass lens, auto tone mapping on there. It has the theater mode adjust. What else we got? 2200 lumens on the laser, which increases your bulb life significantly because you don't have a bulb anymore. You have a laser light source. And this thing actually has instructions on it. So you don't have to lift this thing by yourself unless you're um, Drax and you have to get a buddy to help you out. So we'll open this in a second. So I need a buddy to help me out. And scene. Okay, so I got Buddy to help me get this thing out of the box as instructed right here. So let's open this quick little box and see what we got inside. We have the power cord, which I'll bring this up close in a second. Your brand new handy dandy JVC remote. Batteries. And we have our limited warranty. Basically, this didn't fall off the back of a truck. Make sure you guys are buying this from an authorized dealer. The price is too good to be true, probably is. You guys can waste your money. So let's get this thing unboxed proper. Like I was talking about, 60, 65 millimeter all glass lens has a theater optimizer on there, increased dynamic tone mapping. Um, this one is 8K, has 8K inputs, HDMI 2.1, 8K 60 hertz, as well as 120 at 4K. So if you guys are really into gaming, this thing's gonna really help you out as well and it's freaking heavy. So this, this this actually is a little bit heavier than the previous outgoing models. So take that in consideration as well. You might need to get a, a beefier mount. Um, in this case, I think the 2100 is still under that 50, 50 pounds. So the ones that are really popular, you still be able to use. Let me show you guys the front real quick. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention that this is the uh, 8K E-Shift. It is two position E-Shift. E so I just wanted to let you guys know about that right now. Okay, so up front, what we got is this nice little accent around. This is the RS uh, model. It's not the NZ. Um, so you will have that nice little gold accent. Uh, additionally, you have your 65 millimeter all glass lens um, right up at the front. Kind of looks the same as the years previous, if I'm not super mistaken. But you have your uh, intakes up front. You have the exhaust in the back, your sensor, and then your display lights up here. All right, so let's check out the back of this unit real quick. So let's just start on the left side and we'll go all the way over. So you have your 3D synchro. So if you guys were super upset about the, uh, the, the brand new Epson coming out and not having 3D, you guys got your full 3D capabilities right here. You just have to buy your dongle and your glasses. Two HDMIs, these are full, um, these, these are full bandwidth HDMIs. They're actually 8K inputs and this thing will display 8K. Um, you, all, you have your RS-232 for control, your service port for standard updates. You have your LAN connection and then we also have a trigger. So if you have a motorized screen or something like that that you want to control, you have that ability right there. If you lose your remote, you still have your controls over the back, and then you have an additional sensor here. So you have one in the front, one in the back, ease of installation. One thing that I will notice that with these is that you do have these massive vents in the back. So that's going to be a little bit different than, uh, than before. So if you guys had a older DILA and you just want to take the mount off of it, put the new one on, slide this one on there. You may need to take this in into consideration because it is a little bit different in their dimensions. Laura, well, right, guys, I had an outro shot for this one, but the file did not work for some reason. But I really appreciate you guys for watching the unboxing of this brand new JVC projector. If you guys want to grab one of these, reach out to your local JVC dealer. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.